Please introduce yourself. I'm Victoria Sakhova and I'm 16 years old. Okay. Do you know any wonders of the world? Of course. Um, I know about uh, the Great Wall in China and pyramids in Giza and also Taj Mahal in India and I don't know how to call that um, Garden of Semiramida mm -hmm, of Babylon uh, yes and um, Eiffel Town in Paris what is your most favorite one? I think um, Great, uh, the Great Wall in China. Why do you like it? <clears throat> I uh, I like um, their culture, Chinese and um, Japanese and Korean culture. I like that Asian culture, and I think um, China it is it is very interesting and exciting country, especially for me. And so, how can the world tell you about this country? Um, this wall um, saw many wars um, with Mongolian, and um, I don't know, uh, it has really interesting history. Mm -hmm. That's why I like it. Are there any wonders or any landmarks in Kazakhstan? Mm, like Baitirik? Or something. Mm -hmm. um, Baitirik and um, Balhash. I think it's really interesting. I saw it in it is really beautiful. Um, this blue sea, like, like sea. <coughs> mm. I think that's all. So where can you see these landmarks? Baitirik? Baitirik, uh, it is uh, in Astana and Balhash, it is near the uh, Ustikaminogorsk and um, Kızılorda. Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what is so special about each landmark that you've mentioned? Um, Baitirik, it is like an Eiffel town in our country is really big and uh, twinkling lights uh, there. And what does it symbolize? Um, well, I don't know. It, it has a very unusual structure, very unusual image. Yes. And shape, so... It is really tall and beautiful. It's not just the tower, it's, it symbolizes something. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. I can't mm -hmm. tell. So what is special about the Balhash Lake? Mm -hmm. I was there and this beautiful, um, beautiful water, it's... Mm, it's really calm and um, it has really, uh, you know, um, gentle breeze and nobody's there. Like it is like secluded, secluded, um, secluded place. I don't know. It's r really special for me. I don't know why. Mm, so if it's so special. Uh, tell us a little bit about your emotions. So, what what emotions or what impressions? So y you you have about this place. I was really calm and excited. I was uh, I was a little children or oh, ch uh, child when I was there, and it was really funny for me because I uh, have n I. Mm, at the time, I have never seen the um, th those big, uh, big sea. Or mm -hmm. I've never seen it. That's why it 
um, shocked me. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Please introduce yourself. My name is Mutali Dospol and I came to this course to learn English and to learn up intermediate level English and um, uh, I am a student um, I s study in school number 23 Okay, so let's turn to questions okay. Tell me about the day that changed your mind about somebody in the past Somebody? I have uh, one story about this, about my first impression. Um, in um, 2012, uh, I saw one person uh, in my class. He was my new classmate. And my first impression was uh, he was um, a very quiet person and boring. That I think uh, uh, don't be close friends with him. Uh, after a period of time. Um, we need to one football player to our team because uh, our player have an injury and we invite him to play with us. Uh, he came to the football pitch and uh, played with our team and he was a good, a really good player. It's, uh, after that, we go to the um, to the restaurant and um, not restaurant cafe and uh, eat um, hamburgers and talk with some with uh, friends. Uh, we ask him a lot of questions and uh, we have a lot of same interests we both uh, Arsenal fans uh, Arsenal is a football club and after that uh, we became we, become, we became uh, good friends and he is one of the most close people for me Mm -hmm. So you are on friendly terms with this person yes. now. And does your friend know about it? About it, right? That you thought something different. Uh, I think yes, because first of all, I don't uh, speak with him and don't communicate. Uh, I don't invite you, him to hang out with uh, us with me and my friends. But after this football match, we became good friends and I think uh, he know about it. Thank you. That's all. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Aya. I'm 70 years old student. <laughs> I'm studying at school number 8 and I live in Kazakhstan in Shukhan. Okay, so are you a brave person? 50-50. <clears throat> um, so what could you easily endure? Um, I don't understand. So um, what can you brave? So what situations can you endure? <clears throat> Uh, mostly, uh, I'm a brave person because <clears throat> um, I can do a lot of things, uh, a lot of crazy things, and um, my and uh, when we have uh, a lot of e uh, when we have exams, uh, I'm 
uh, always uh, ready and I'm always uh, passing my exam first. Mm -hmm. And what are you not good at braving? Um, I'm, I'm not so brave. Uh, I, I'm afraid of snakes and uh, other... Uh, other. I'm afraid of snakes, I'm afraid of uh, cats and uh, dogs. <laughs> okay, so it means that you, could, you couldn't stay in one room with a cat or with a dog? Yes, if I don't know uh, this cat or this dog, I can't. Okay, so what was the toughest ordeal you've ever survived in your life? <laughs> uh, I. Um, <clears throat> once when I was in France, uh, we, uh, I and my friend get lost there, we, <clears throat> we, look, uh, we can't find uh, our bus and we were walking and, uh, <clears throat> uh, and we were walking and uh, finding, a, finding a way to survive and uh, to find our hotel. Uh, and our teachers, we can't uh, call them because uh, we don't have the, any uh, mobile phones, and uh, it was it was very hard for us to find our group. Where was that? Uh, it was in Louvain Museum, mm -hmm. and we were <laughs> we just ran everywhere and uh, shouted <laughs> our teachers and uh, looking for find them. Mm -hmm. So, so at how did you find them? Uh, we we find find them in one store in Apple Store. They are uh, one of our friends, and then he uh, said, "Where is our teacher?" Mm -hmm. So, how long were you looking for your for your group? Two hours. And and. <laughs> uh, Finally, we, are, we were smiling and, and laughing when we found our teachers. And so did your group. teachers note, notice that you were lost? Yes, they were... Um, they, were um, they lost us and they uh, was looking f to find us too. Mm -hmm. Would you like to repeat this experience? Mm, maybe yes, because it was uh, really fun. We find a lot of uh, interesting shops when we were uh, finding our group. Okay, thank you. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Sarsimbek Shahidar. I am from Shimkent, Kazakhstan. Okay. So, what do you think about longevity? About longevity? I think it's a very good idea because uh, if you are longevity, you can see a lot. Uh, um, uh, if you are longevity, it means you are... Um, it means that you have a very big uh, life experience um, and uh, also very big family, I think. If you only know. And um, uh, longevity, unfortunately, they are very. Uh, I think if, if you live a lot, it's very it's boring. Yes, and but of course, uh, all peoples can live uh, with different life, and uh, you can every year you can live in the, uh, different countries, uh, but uh, I think longevity, uh, they are very uh, rich persons, because uh, if you are longevity, uh, it means that uh, you can pay for your health, uh, for your, uh, for your uh, hospital, uh, and uh, of course it's v uh, money very important in your uh, long life, um, uh, but uh, nowadays uh, 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 people's uh, uh, people who live long uh, nowadays it's uh, not uh, a lot nowadays. Uh, 
because I think it's uh, it uh, depends uh, for air and uh, um, and mm, and the family. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to live up to a ripe old age? <laughs> yes, of course. Why? Because I want to see uh, my children's life and their children's my um, my ne uh, my nephew's life and their wives and husbands. I think it would be better see their. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to do for it? Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, I think uh, I should uh, eat only healthy food and uh, and have a good marriage because it's very important for you uh, how, um, uh, it's very important to have a very good wife not so nervous uh, not so uh, arrogant and uh, also it's mm. important to have very quiet and um, and um, healthy wife <laughs> because if you have a healthy wife it means that you have very uh, good and uh, healthy children hmm. okay so and why do you think uh, people in Kazakhstan do not live to a ripe old age and there are very few centenarians in uh, this country. I think it depends on our uh, social life and uh, our um, level of our um, uh, hospitals. I think it's very important to have very good uh, hospitals but unfortunately we have got very good hospitals. Um, uh, nowadays, our people must uh, go abroad to uh, for better hospitals, and uh, and um, and be there to. So you think that the problem is only the medical care? Not only medical, but the main, main problem is, of course, medical care. Why? Isn't it about the lifestyle or about the eating habits? No, no, no. Most, uh, uh, most problem is, uh, of course, our uh, medicine. Why? Why? Because I think medicine is 60% uh, of our health. Um, but if you are healthy, you do not need any medical treatment. Yes, that's so? why. Uh, if you are healthy, you have no. But of course, our habits uh, also. Um, I don't know. I think my main reason is medicine. So you think just if you will have um, bad medical care, you will not live up to a ripe yes, old age. Yes, yes. So and you will worry mostly about this. Yes. N yes. First of all, it's uh, our medicine, uh, but then uh, my habits and uh, also. So and that's why you will immigrate to another country ah, no, where I'm the medical good. care is better. I say it would be better to have a good medicine in our country, but of course if we haven't got good medicine, um, I move not to all my life, but only, I think only a few times to uh, live and, um, uh, and uh, have there my medicine. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Zariva, I'm 17. Uh, I study uh, at upper intermediate level. Okay, so do you have a shoulder to cry on? Uh, yes, I have a shoulder to cry on. Uh, she is my mom. Uh, 
uh, I can confide in her uh, because she can keep a secret and um, she is easy to talk. Um, she understand me and and, and not uh, judge me. Mm -hmm. um, she is trustworthy and uh, she, she gives me good advice and supports me. Uh, it's really important to me. Uh, mm -hmm. So why is this person so special to you? Um, uh, because she's my mom. Uh, she, uh, I think, she never uh, give a bad advice uh, to her children because she loved me and I love her. And I think she uh, have a, a life experience and she, and she can uh, learn me, give me knowledge. Mm -hmm. Can you say that you are a shoulder to cry on for your mom? Um, I think sometimes yes, um, when she tired in, in her work, maybe. Uh, I can't give a good advice, but uh, I can uh, uh, cook uh, dinner or um, um, just speak with her, talk with her, um, and. Do you think that one day you will be a good shoulder to cry on for your mom? Mm. When you are older and when you are wiser? Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, I can be a shoulder to cry on uh, to my mom. Um, and I always um, I will support her uh, if she needs it. And I, I can help her. Okay, and will you be a good shoulder to cry on for your children? Uh, yes. What will you do? Uh, uh, I will uh, say to my children, um, if you dream about something, uh, you should do it and you can do it. Uh, you should... Mm, uh, Learn uh, all what you uh, what give you uh, in your school, uh, in your university, or um, adult people, and um, when I have uh, will have my life experience, I will uh, say about um, things um, to my children.